Hello everyone, welcome to Novo Creative Tutorials. Today we are going to learn how easy it is to create speed lines, enemy effects, background in Adobe After Effects without using any third-party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after you create your composition, create a new solid and name it background and apply a ramp gradient and change the star to a light red and end color to darker one. And change the ramp shape to radial. You can leave it linear if you want to. And let's change the ramp scatter to around 200 and just get a nice gradient here. And let's create another solid and name this center light and give it a fill effect. And let's change the color to yellow and hit R for rotation and rotate this. 45 degrees and hit S for scaling and scale it up. And let's create a mask on this and give a mask feather something around 250 and expansion to get it a bit narrow. We want to put it there. Okay, so now we're going to duplicate center light and let's change the name to lines shadows through one just for organizing things and let's delete the fill and apply fractal noise. So on fractal noise effect, leave fractal type and noise type as it is and let's change the contrast to something around 2500 and for the brightness, so maybe around 300. So on transform, and I'm like scaling, and let's put the width to 4,000, and the scale height to 20. So we are having these nice lines here. Nothing is animated yet, so what we're going to do is animate the X offset turbulence. That's how things is going to look like when animating this. So let's create a keyframe at the beginning here and let's push this back far away and then move your car your time indicator and make it maybe closer to the comp there. Hit you and move the last one a bit and let's preview this. So we're going to have something like this. And now we need to change a fractal noise color. And so as you see, we have a black lines there. So the first thing we are going to do is changing the blending mode to multiply. And so they look even more darker. So we're going to apply CC toner to remap the colors and change the tones to gear tone and change shadows to something look orange there, darker orange. And so it look nice. So we're going to duplicate this one and just variate our fractal you see here we have some are going to do some variations and maybe change the brightness and change here we are going to evolution and animate that my times minus 200 so we have this 
nice looking and let's duplicate it one more time and again just tweaking the parameters here so maybe for scale let's put that to 60 and change this to 350 and change the rotation okay and maybe we are going to hit you and just offset this turbulence okay so now we are going to create the highlights for these shadows so just duplicate the last line and let's rename this to highlight and change the blending mode to screen and on CC Turner, we're going to change the highlight to black. And for shadows, we are going to make it brighter here. So here we have some highlights. I'm not sure if you can see, but you got some highlights there. And we are going to duplicate this again and instead of duplicating it, just duplicate another shadow and name the highlights 02 and change it to screen and put the highlight to black and as you see we are getting some highlight there and maybe you can just change the brightness so you get some depth there and let's duplicate this again one more time let's put them here and for this one we're going to just change the offset and maybe change the transform the rotation and also the transform so they look just something like this and let's apply a glow effect to this just by applying the glow you can tell the highlight lines just pop up more and we can change glow intensity to 0.5 and also change the glow radius around maybe 20 and the glow threshold as well and just to get the desired look you're looking for and so just we're going to copy this glow and paste it to the other highlights layers and maybe for the last one instead of screen let's make it add where yeah, that one look really we need to change some of maybe the color and the intensity be just one and three uh, radius to 30 and maybe three shoulder Well, we can leave it as this. And as you see here, we have the lines moving fast. And so we are going to duplicate the center lights and put it both and change the name to corner shadows and hit MM and just subtract the same uh, mask and change the fill to black and hit T for opacity and let's lower the opacity just to give it some nice depth let's preview this and see maybe here for this one hit MM and you can change the feathering of the center light So maybe 
for line shadows. We always can tweak things. How to make it look nice and vary it. So the same concepts those other lines were created. So for example here, it's animating from left to right. And for this one, actually, we just apply a CC corner pen for the lines. Let's solve this to explain it better. So here we have the same lines that animating using the fractals. And just by adding corner pen, let's reset this and explain it. So here the corner pen, we just uh, distort this. You know, you just distorted the, the look you want. And so we just, we have it animated there. So we just copy the corner pen and paste it to other ones. So let's get back to this layer and paste corner pen again. So let's see how we create those other highlights. We use the same techniques we see in this tutorial, but we add another layer with a mask and call it soft mask and feather and give it uh, add blending modes and another layer with a mask shape. Uh, actually, it is animated that mask. So we have here uh, animation for the mask and apply CC Radio Fast Blur to it to get a really nice uh, dynamic uh, highlights on top of other layers. And so everything's together look pretty nice. So we can just tweak and do things you would like. So this was the tutorial of today. Hope it was useful for you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Adobe After Effects tutorials coming soon. Thank you for watching. <music>